Hey, Ralph, you have been all with Syncom for almost 40 years now, right? So you know Syncom really well. What are three things you want viewers to remember about Syncom, especially Syncom CPQ? Uh, three things would be uh, longevity, uh, innovative, uh, and expertise. Uh, so from a longevity perspective, we've been in the market uh, since 1968. Our CEO and founder, uh, Tom Meese, um, has been the longest serving CEO um, in this industry. Um, so we expect to be around for another 50 years. Um, and in order to be able to remain uh, in business this long, we have to be able to be innovative. Um, so we've proven um, over, over the years uh, through technology, um, as well as through the business value that our customers uh, need to achieve, we can innovate um, and provide solutions uh, to those customers. And we do that through our expertise. So uh, we have a team of individuals uh, within engineering, within services, within support. And our focus is really on the success of our customers. Um, and so through our long history, uh, through those involvement uh, and activity through analysts and partners, uh, we continue to uh, invest in the assets, which are, which are our people, uh, to make sure that we can continue to provide uh, both a trust and integrity into our overall solution and relationships we build. And what unexpected benefits do your customers tell you about when they start using Syncom CPQ? That's a good, that's a good and interesting question. Um, I guess one I'll say is uh, human behavior. Um, it really comes down to the UX, right? Uh, so we've had a customer in the specialty vehicles market um, as they took and rolled out the CPQ solution uh, to their uh, partner channel, uh, they gained an understanding of what the partners were quoting. Uh, with that, they were then able to understand uh, the features and options that were being selected. And for this one partner uh, who was not achieving as much in the sales uh, as others as far as performance, uh, they were able then to go down and figure out what was being configured and how it was being configured. Um, and they noticed that certain selections were the highest price configuration selection that they were offering. And when they asked the individual, you know, why are they selecting that particular feature? The simple answer was it was first in the list. Um, so they learned be human behavior. They learned to uh, take in the experience part uh, and start building out what the salesperson or channel person wants to configure and how they want to configure is much different than what the manufacturing back office and engineers need to know about. Um, and so having more guidance, more decision rules that drive to a outcome rather than having a salesperson select so many features and options that they may not really care about. The other one would be around, um, we're more than a product configurator. So we had a, a IT director uh, for a company who manufactures medical refrigeration units. Um, and what she said was, we're marketing this product all wrong. You know, it, it's not a CPQ. It's not a product configurator. It's a knowledge, knowledge engine. Um, she understood that they could do more with this than just product configuration. They also want to be able to use it for their case management. So as calls come in for repairs of the equipment already been delivered, um, how can I guide them through that process to have the parts that are needed, figure out if they're under warranty or not? Am I developing a new quote to be quoted or am I just going to place an order to have a part, part uh, repaired and sent out? So uh, that was the second one is, you know, they finally realized that it's more than just product configuration. It's actually a, a knowledge engine that can be used across the board. And what are actually the biggest uh, CPQ challenges that your customers face? Why do they come to you? What, what do they expect? that you help them with? Yeah, I think I think the the biggest area, because I think it's more in their control, or at least they believe it's in more in their control, is really lower cost. You know, how can I reduce the overall cost? How can I digitally transform our company um, so that I, that I have a lower cost uh, to build these quotes and to win this business? Uh, many times, as we said, they're focusing on replacing manual processes today, um, which are very difficult to maintain, they're out of date, um, and they produce errors ultimately. And to manually then produce proposal packets that then get sent out is very time consuming uh, and produces uh, errors in the back end. So how can we take uh, that knowledge of what your features and options are, 
uh, and make that uh, available uh, to the overall sales rep and dealer rep. So you have the right product, but also the product right. So the right product as far as what they're trying to solve with your solution, but then the, the product right so that you can actually deliver on it. Um, so to me, that, that that's, that's the biggest one, uh, lower cost. And what the challenge they face is they've really got to look at it uh, from viewing it, not replacing with the same process they had today. Uh, they need to be able to look at it as how do I transform my business and become easier to buy from um, and therefore look at new ways of selling rather than replacing this, the current way new technology. Got it. And then the last question is really concerning your CRM and ERP integrations and CPQ sits right in the middle between these two. When you look at your customer base, what are the most common CRM and ERP solutions that they use? I, I think for, for our customers, the most common one is probably Microsoft Dynamics, uh, but it's, prob it's probably close behind a Salesforce. Um, and then we have a, lunch, a bunch of smaller, uh, different ones like Sugar CRM, N4, and et cetera. So, but Microsoft Dynamics and Salesforce are probably the, the two prevalent. CRM side, on the ERP side? Um, we have a wide range of ERP systems that uh, our customers are using. The most common one is probably SAP, and that would be SAP ECC. And many of those customers are looking to migrate to uh, SAP S4HANA. 